book review for the month of May 2020. The book is War Doctor by David Knott. Now this review comes later than usual. It's because we had done it previously on Instagram as part of our Insta Live series, but we prefer to have it as well on YouTube. So here we are. As well, I'd like to apologize for any background noises as we go along in this video. This is because children are at home due to the pandemic, therefore they might be out playing. So let's get into it. The structure of the video is the uh, first portion. I will let you know what the book is about. Without any spoilers, I'll do my best. And towards the end, I'll let you know my perspectives or at least my opinion on it as a healthcare provider, seeing as the author as well is a healthcare provider and many individuals in this book are healthcare providers. So that's it. I will leave as well timestamps in the description box and if you'd like to jump across through, you can do that. So War Doctor is basically a non-fiction, it's an autobiography and it's by David Knott who is a vascular surgeon from the National Health Service or the NHS in the UK. He talks about various things, he discusses um, aspects of vascular surgery and being a doctor in different war zones throughout his professional life and a bit of it afterwards as being directly, a, um, not a war doctor but a vascular surgeon in in war zones and later on as a mentor and a preceptor as well being an educator so the book sets is set in different parts of the world it goes on from afghanistan all the way to sierra leone and in the beginning he talks about his background as a child as you go along the book he also talks about his personal experiences which he gets into very deeply what i notice is he really goes down to what it means to be a surgeon what it means to do no harm and as well to be an individual who experiences wars that he's not fully a part of now not being fully a part of is not being able to uh, control the outcomes of these wars or rather direct these the outcomes of these wars on a long-term basis at least on a short-term basis he does and for the patients that he treats for those, at least we can say on a long-term basis, he has an impact in their families as well. So the other thing that we he discusses in these books are themes such as the adrenaline rush of going into wars and as well getting into his hobbies such as being a pilot. And he talks about those experiences in such a, in such a vulnerable way. He talks about flying and his failures as a pilot in a very open and vulnerable yet cathartic way i saw that as his way of managing putting his at least redirecting his adrenaline from war zones and into flights and doing the maximum that he can with his life you know so it's very encouraging to see that something else that he talks about is the experiences of other healthcare providers and other individuals in the book not only the patients that he comes across but also um, the people that he works with be it other surgeons be it nurses other healthcare providers not directly related to um, surgery as well something else that i found uh, positively interesting or pleasantly surprising is that he talks about love in this story and how he settles down in his life and so on i'm really trying not to give out any spoilers so there are specific themes that he covers in this book one is travel, the other one is courage, politics, a bit of love and for sure surgery and being a particle in the universe, either as being a doctor or being a patient or being an element in war and sometimes wanting to have control in this setup or being wanting to redirect um, what happens, yet not being able to, but still persisting towards having putting some sense in people's minds because war is not something that especially when you see the lives of individuals who are directly affected by war you empathize with the individuals who are covered in this book you get to see how being on the front lines of war as a war doctor or as a healthcare provider in the war zone can not only affect you psychologically physically but can affect your life in so many ways. And now we'll look at at least my perspective of this book as a healthcare provider. 
One thing that is very clear to see from the get-go is when David Knott wants to go into a war zone, and he's a very young person. It reminds me of back in the day when I was in was working in accident and emergency. It was really exciting and the adrenaline rush that comes with truly doing what you want to do is is very clearly put out here. And as a healthcare provider, I would encourage absolutely anybody who is starting off to really pursue your dreams in that in that way, in the manner that whatever you have within you to push for, do push for it. And there are no losses when you push for what you truly want to do in life. Something else that I noticed along the book is that he is able to acquire leadership skills gradually. And these don't come just automatically, but it comes on from his experiences and as well from his courage to want to do what he truly wants to do. So that is one leadership aspect that I see in this book. From these experiences, he's able to empathize, and as a leader as well, he's able to empathize with other um, healthcare providers because he sees part of himself in them. An example is when there was a nurse in this book who was a surgical nurse. And because she was experiencing some psychological hazard, it could have been burnout, it could have been PTSD. It's not very specified in the book, but from her character, then you're able to see um, that she was going through some psychological hazards. And from that, the decisions that she was making were not very good for the patient. And it's very encouraging that David Knott, or at least the leadership team, could see that and they... Um, offered some assistance for her, or at least changed the environment for her, for her to be able to recover. And as you go along as well, you realize that David Knott experiences some PT, not some PTSD, a lot of PTSD, um, compassion fatigue, and other psychological hazards. And from that, he's able to be, he seeks help. He's, he's not very sure that he needs help in the beginning. He seeks help for it. He um, is assisted as well by um, his social circles and his family and he's able to write put together this book This comes from a very deep part of him So that is something that I truly appreciate from this book Especially as a nurse in a critical care setup then you realize that you might experience um, Psychological hazards as you go on and you might not be able to recognize them But when you do recognize them, you're able to empathize with other individuals who experience psychological hazards or people who are in your place. As a healthcare provider that I see in this book are themes of preceptorship, mentorship, and courage. And these are things that we pick on from a young professional age towards throughout our professional life. And it's very, these are aspects that are very important to acquire as you go and to intentionally go towards um, building our leadership skills and making courageous decisions not only for ourselves but for our patients and which is something that is those those are themes that are very clear in this book and he practices them over and over and over again the value of empathy and this is not only clear to me as a healthcare provider but as a kenyan and an african and he immerses himself not only in his work but as well as the environment that he's in he tries to understand the culture in that way he's able to empathize with the patients he's able to understand his patients more and as he comes into sierra leone he talks about experiences that to a layman or to somebody who hasn't been to any African country and has read about it only might have a different picture of what Africa truly is like or what the people in Africa truly are like and the specificity that Africa is a combination of many people with very interesting cultures and very um, the environment is not only that of uh, tourism or wars it clearly cuts to the personalities of specific individuals and how generous and kind people are and how dynamic and how we have um, different backgrounds and we're not only a one-sided story or we're not only a continent of one story. So that is something that really hit home for me and I do appreciate and I do um, respect David Knott for making that clear in this book. So it talks about aspects of mentorship and preceptorship because towards the end of the book, he no longer is able to go into war zones, but he continues to push as a war doctor by helping other individuals. 
work in these environments. So those are the, in summary, the themes that I gathered from this book and at least how I reflected my experiences with these of David Knott as, um, as a surgeon. Something that came across interestingly um, when I was reading this book, there were some feelings of excitement, there were some feelings of guilt, there were some feelings of um, missing out <laughs> and fears of missing out. But all in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. And the reason why I experienced those feelings, I believe is because as I was reading this book, it was a time when the pandemic in Kenya at least was really gaining momentum. And as I got into it, I really felt as though I would want to be there. And um, I could not be there. I could not be in um, in ICU, working in ICU for a specific period of time for several reasons. But despite that, I felt strongly as though I my team could be failing because I'm not there, but they are not at the same time. The other thing was I kept feeling as though uh, as I got into that, I felt as though while I mean while at least being working in critical care, I had feelings of guilt from feeling as though I'm putting my family in a very vulnerable pos position, putting myself in a vulnerable position, if I could be sick or no. And I really wanted to help patients as much as possible. So with while just pushing on to read this book, I found a lot of peace in him finding solutions for himself. And not only that, but finding solutions for other people. And this book really did help me go through um, my own psychological experiences and not only physical, psychological experiences mostly because sometimes war can be, a pandemic can be war and war can be compared to a pandemic. If you get into it, then you will see that very clearly. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I'm looking out for other books by David Knott. It has been reviewed as well by um, Adam K. This is something that I was not aware of until today. And Adam K. is the author of This Is Going To Heart, a book that as well I have read previously. And I quote Adam K. Brave, compassionate, and inspiring. This book should be in every house. And I concur with him. This book should absolutely be in every house, in every library, and should be in every healthcare provider's book collection. All in all, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Do let me know what you think about this book if you have read it. Let us know in the comment section and I will be responding to that. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click the notification bell. That way you are able to get notified whenever we upload videos. Let me know what you think about this book in the comment section and we will have a short review on there or a short discussion on it or a long one depending on what you think. All in all, have yourselves a lovely day and until next time, elevate Nassim. Take care. Bye-bye.